This is the story of two ordinary families in a race to help save the planet. We're challenging them to change their habits. With the help of energy experts and their own personal coaches, each family is ready to go green. At the end of the three-month competition, the winning family will drive away in a brand new electric car. The families are learning to go green, but can they change their lifestyles without giving up or cracking under the pressure? Find out next on The Greenest House. Last time on The Greenest House, both teams finished the competition, and after adding up the totals in the four areas, the winning team turned out to be the Edisons. broken record. I'm so proud of my family. <laughs> That's all I ever say. <laughs> I am. They did such a good job. They were just, oh. Todd and Carrie had some big plans. I'm so, I went so ready to sell our cars and like, yeah. And live in a yurt. Yeah. <laughs> Team Falcone is trying to put it all into perspective. It was always neck and neck. Regardless of whether or not it was neck and neck, we still lost and that makes me angry. But there are more important perks to the competition for Team Edison. And the fact that we've changed the air quality in our house is huge. And I don't think you can put a price on that. I mean, I feel like no. we didn't, we had no idea. And I think we were sick, like all, off and on all last winter with just feeling crappy, always wanting the windows open, feeling like we couldn't breathe in our house. And I feel and like- And she'd always come through and say, ah, there's dust everywhere. Everywhere, yeah. where's all this coming? And we were literally pulling up toxic waste out of our crawl space. I and mean, blowing it around the house. Yeah, I mean, yeah. basically rat feces, and I mean, you hate to think about it, but it's a miracle we're still alive. <laughs> and Jaylin is excited as well. So I'm, I'm psyched about the furnace, actually, because the downstairs is really cold, and that furnace wasn't enough to heat everything. Yeah. So Maybe we can we can get a new the new furnace and direct heat downstairs to keep my poor papa warm. Carrie is convinced she knows why they won. Well, clearly Todd. No. Yeah, yeah, he knows. No, I mean, it, he's being nice, but it was him. No, it was it was totally the ceiling of the house. Oh, it, totally no, it was. Well, I mean, all the challenges were added together. I think that to pulled us together difference. twice, though. Well, <laughs> <laughs> and we got a new washer for. We That's got a cool. new washer. That's, cool. That's awesome. You know, I thought even if we didn't win the car, we won so much and we've learned so much. It was really worth being a part of this anyway. Our pride is damaged a little bit, but we'll get over it. This is the last reality TV show I sign you up for. <laughs> and prizes may be fun, but they weren't the biggest surprise for most of the team members. You know, we didn't just change little things, we changed our lifestyle. I think we've been at it long enough, at least me. I've, I've got new habits, no. you know. I might go back in some things, but, and there's a big no down there. I think both families have done an amazing job. It'll be interesting to see how much of it they can push forward over the long term. Sustainability is a journey, it's not a destination. It's about keep on improving as time goes on. The teams learned lots of lessons during the competition, but the important lessons are the ones that are sustainable. So, nine months later, Alistair checks back with the teams and the coaches to see what's stayed the same, what's changed, and what's changed back. So, welcome families back to the first reunion of the Greenest House competition. Everybody survived a year. Everybody's looking fit and healthy. So I'd be interested to hear just a little bit from you about how the year's been. I haven't been riding my bike to work. You haven't? No. Condensing loads. Washing machine, I'm thinking washing okay. machine. Using so, my, I'm using my rain barrel all the time. Excellent, cool. good. And Todd? Um, I, I think one of the most challenging things has been water usage. I feel like now I use the bus all the time. Like it's just super accessible. I use it all the time. I understand all the systems, can really get anywhere. It's just not a challenge, it's more habitual now. Great. Mm -hmm. So that was a, a habit that changed because you were mm -hmm. forced to kind of explore it. So let's sort of step away from, from those challenges for a minute and think about the other challenges that we were involved with during the show. Um, maybe talk about the trivia challenge. Anybody remember that trivia challenge? 
Okay. Dude, they should have been disqualified. <laughs> Carrie was just like hitting that buzzer, like when we were still waiting for the question to be asked. I mean, she was just buzzing. Just kept buzzing in. <laughs> what were the answers again? <laughs> what were the, all the options? <laughs> The greenest house, not the fairest house. <laughs> <laughs> I could have been just really slow, and I was on the last question. <laughs> Coming up, we'll check in at both homes and find out what's different. So, nine months later, what other things have changed for Team Falcone? I've been taking the bus more, I've been taking shorter showers, less computer time, less electronic time in general. I think more about what's locally grown, where is it coming from, is it in season, over the winter especially. We never rode bikes, Alina never rode her bike and she's always got, she's got friends over here that are always riding their bikes. And who's the greenest now? I think me. You drive everywhere. Oh, now the truth is coming out, now mm -hmm. you're going to give me back. It's true. It's true. But I combine trips. Building envelope leakage was one of the four areas that the teams were judged on. Both worked hard at sealing ducts, foam sealing around can lights, and doing all they could to reduce the air leaking out of their house. Team Edison showed the biggest improvement, reducing their numbers from about 4,700 to 1,200, saving them over $500 a year. With a little effort, we all could save big and reduce our impact especially in older homes, or with furnaces located in unfinished crawl spaces or basements. Team Edison's prize for kicking it into high gear is the second part to their air sealing prescription. They received complete insulation of their crawl space, all courtesy of classic insulation and Cascade natural gas. Black 6 mil polypropylene keeps the moisture down in the soil. After that's done, the crew will wrap the lumber with R21 batted insulation and string nylon twine back and forth across the floor joist to make sure the insulation stays where it belongs. Then, they'll install an R11 batted insulation on the sheet metal ducting. A sealed and insulated crawl space is a great idea for saving money, improving air quality, and increasing comfort, to say nothing of all the carbon emissions that can be cut. Customers can usually save 20 to 30 percent in average heating bills, and power companies around the country are offering rebates that make it an affordable option for homeowners wanting to save money and reduce their footprint. Not so long ago, both teams' water use was a big mystery. The first step toward changing their water wasting was installing a meter, but that made the teams a little nervous. I took a really long shower this morning. <laughs> so as much as I care about these issues, there are times that you're just, you know, it's like that human nature. I live in the Northwest and I don't like to be cold. And my favorite thing about the morning is my hot shower. We might way, use way more, but I think it's good because then we'll know. And then we can really know, oh, we could take a longer shower. <laughs> or go ahead and water the lawn in the summer. No problem. <laughs> Except that obviously it'll cost us more, we're assuming. <laughs> well, and to think that, that people could just use water indefinitely without paying more than other people. Nine months after the competition, both teams have learned a lot about water. So we talked about, about taking less time in the shower, but I think you also had low flow shower heads, mm -hmm. right? So. Any appreciable difference there? You feel like you're still getting good I, quality? I had no idea we had low flow showers. Good. There's an endorsement. And because both families did so well with their water reduction, one winning the five minute shower challenge and the other winning the largest overall water reduction, both teams receive water saving toilets and fixtures from Toto USA, a company that has been concerned with water saving since 1918. But our green plumber, Don Dawson of Sullivan Plumbing, has some concerns about the installation process. This one will be a piece of cake. The other home, that's not going to be any fun at all. If you live in an older home, a do-it-yourself plumbing retrofit can sometimes be a gamble. Out with the old and in with the new, but plumbing installation can be tricky. In older homes, Pipes can wear thin from the inside out, making them appear sound when they aren't. It's a good idea to talk to a plumber first. And there's a surprise in store over at the Edison's. It's awesome, you've got a new pipe in here. A new pipe means fewer installation hassles. So, with a little tweaking, things are leveled and sealed. 
A few times, in both homes. Even Don is surprised by the bevy of features available on the Toto washlet. It's got a seat temperature, water pressure up and down, it's got a dryer, rear cleansing, rear cleansing soft. It looks good and it works. But what will the families think of their new water closets? Both of the families get a visit from James Chu, Senior Regional Sales Director of Toto USA. First of all, we want to really thank you because um, we're really excited to have this. We, we had a toilet in here that was six gallons per flush. And, uh, you know, for our water challenge, it was, a real, it was a real difficulty, a real issue for us. Now you got the new faucet and so on. How do you look at it compared with your old one? We don't notice a performance difference at all. In fact, I, I think it's uh, better. We had the dual faucets here. Mm -hmm. So we had one that was cold and one that was hot. Uh, and certainly the, the, there was a strong flow. Even with the low flow head that's, that's, that comes with this faucet, um, it's still really powerful. Each of us is likely using somewhere between 80 and 100 gallons of water per day. A WaterSense high efficiency toilet could save a family of four more than $90 annually on their water bill and $2,000 over the lifetime of the toilet. Many water municipalities are offering rebates to consumers and commercial owners who are looking to replace their older toilets and fixtures. Over at the Falcones, it's the washlet that's making the biggest splash, but it's taking a little adjustment. So this is the bathroom that gets used the most, our downstairs half bath. When I first tell my friends, and I have to warn them, okay, it's, uh, it's gonna be warm, there's a little thing there to wash, they're like, that is so gross! And, and then as soon as they use it a couple of times, they are sold, they love it. We talk about eco-friendly and we talk about ecology. It's kind of weird that you have to cut trees to make paper to clean yourself. To flush. Right. It's sort of against the whole trend where mm -hmm. we're saying that we want to be eco-friendly, then why not use water? That you can always recycle water mm -hmm. and clean yourself. I know our water bill is lower. Which is good. We're saving water, so that's good. Good. How about performance? Did anybody complain, or family member, guests? No, you know, our old toilets used to get clogged really easily. No problems with these. Nine months later, the washlet is still a hit with everyone. I really, really love our toilets. So to all of our friends and everybody who has ever come over has talked about the toilets. The Toto Washlet um, is, is a wonderful, pleasant um, experience in the morning. And there's the, the remote control for all the geeks, the gadget geeks that come to the house. I had a friend go over yesterday. She comes out, she goes, is your toilet seat heated? I'm like, oh yeah, come with me, there's more. And for the Falcones, who won the overall reduction category in both energy and water, the water savings continued with their prize of a brand new WaterSense washing machine, courtesy of Lehman's Home Appliance Center and Cascade Natural Gas. Terry Lehman has all the lowdown on their new Maytag Beauty. Do a full load on that one. You can wash <coughs> realistically about three king size sheets and, and about four other smaller items, but it's going to use about 45 gallons of water, <laughs> where that same load in the new washer you're getting is only using about 16 gallons water for a full load so on a partial it's going to use less. So it's about a third of the water usage. Yeah, but you can do probably five times the amount of clothes at one time God. if you have that many sheets to put in there. <laughs> Up to 90 percent of the cost of operating washing machines is associated with the energy needed to heat the water. Look for washers that have the Energy Star and Water Sense label, which means the unit will use 35 to 50 percent less water and 50 percent less energy per load, saving money on both water and energy bills make sure to look for rebates to find the most efficient machines. What I love most about the washing machine is that the spin cycle gets so much of the water out that I'm using the dryer for 30 minutes. It takes less time, actually, than our old one, and it saves a lot of water, and it's a lot cooler. The proof is in the pudding and in the water bill, now that both families have water meters tracking all their use. So the upshot of all of those changes, I hope, is some change in water bills and you both had water meters got to actually start tracking your water seen differences from that point of view so the neighbor has a water meter mm -hmm. and he told us that we would probably see an increase in our water bill 
and we have and it's decreased. Right. So that's good. And so we had a decrease as well. It'd be fun to just talk a little bit about that old rain barrel race because that was a, a <laughs> fairly a special one. day. That was a good one. <laughs> you guys rocked that. We were taking a nap Falcone's out back. <laughs> this is true. Falcone's rocked that in that race. That was a brutal... <laughs> it wasn't even close. It was like, yeah. I mean, like the lights were going down. I think <laughs> it was like we were like the last setting. people at the marathon when everybody's packed up. You know. Yeah. Are you ready? Tools. Are you set? Yes. Go. Uh oh. Oh yeah. Oh, no, no, I knew it fell at the beginning. He lost his shoe too. Look at us smiling. Why are we smiling? Oh, we should be crying. Know. We didn't know what was happening. Shorts. I still have those. <laughs> <laughs> They're like halfway done. I know. It's funny, it's in fast motion. They were all over on its side. Drilled seven eighth inch holes, two inches from the bottom of the barrel, directly in line with one of the bunk holes on top of the barrel. Okay. <laughs> we're like in slow motion. Let's do the room to go. Here's this is a drill. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is like one inch from the base. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's not one inch from the base. <laughs> That's so uh, Again, three. You're like one and in there. Yeah. Hold two inches from the base. <laughs> Directly in line underneath it. one of the bunk holes on top of the barrel. Okay, you gotta read loud. Okay. <laughs> the first part was losing. I hate losing. I just we lost. So other than that, that was the hardest part. <laughs> you know, we need to work on communication. <laughs> oh, that was really cute. Oh. Coming up, did the new heating solutions keep the families toasty and warm? Heating was a big issue at the start of the competition for both teams. Oh, and I don't like to be cold. So like last night, it was like 72 degrees on our heat thing, because I was like, I'm cold. <laughs> oh, the heat, warming up the house, because I don't like to be cold. Yeah. I feel like the central heating is not real efficient. You know, no matter how high we put the heat down here, it, it just sort of seems to spread out and doesn't, never really gets warm down here. Both teams received heating prizes. Because they won the overall reduction category in both waste and transportation, the Edisons were awarded heating green infrared heating panels. And thanks in part to their strong performance in the overall energy reduction category and in the in-home energy challenge, the Falcones won the first prize of a Carrier Comfort Series 92% high efficiency furnace, which is replacing their old 80% energy waster. The Baron Green team came back to the Falcones and made quick work of the furnace replacement. There are some good features to look for on any replacement furnace. High efficiency means lower energy costs and impact. Wes Diskin from Baron Green team shares the 411. From a health standpoint, really the biggest thing about your system that was existing was this electronic air cleaner. Now this one it has a three-speed fan, so what it's able to do is you can tap it down into a low speed, which it's on now, that runs over your air filter continuously, and you have pretty much the cleanest air. That's gonna make it so that the thermostat says, I don't need any more heat, I don't need to come on, mm -hmm. because my average temperature, I'm good down here. You guys' energy bills are gonna just All that's great, but how has it been working in the home over the winter? I love the first, it has a filter on it. And I love the programmable. I have a program so about 15 minutes before we get up. The heat goes on and at 9.30 the heat goes off, so by the time we're in bed, the heat is off. 67 and the whole house stays warm. It, it wasn't that up and down that we've had in the past, and it was definitely lower heating bills. And what was the winter like for Team Edison? I wouldn't say that we use heat less, but it's much warmer the heat we use. We used to run the heat downstairs, the furnace, um, just non-stop through the winter and by the time it got to the house it was just cold and so we never got warm in the, in the downstairs of our of our home and with the new insulation um, we were toasty all through the winter I mean it was a noticeable difference it was fantastic and we had it certainly running a lot less downstairs on the forest air heat we were still on 67 68 
and it didn't keep us near as warm as we did with our heating panels. Their old-fashioned electric baseboard heaters were replaced with infrared heating panels, an alternative that provides clean, comfortable heat. Jeff Caldwell from Heating Green checks in with Carrie. So how are the heating panels working for you guys? We love them. Yeah? We totally love them for a lot of reasons. They don't stink like our baseboards did because we had baseboards in here before and right. I, they were just stinky. I think what we noticed though is just a real comfort difference. We, I mean, I used to always be cold in this house and it didn't matter how high we turned the heat up, it was just cold. Right. And I think we had just gotten used to the fact that we were pumping out tons of energy without any comfort. And so have you seen any reflection in your, your heating bills? Last month, I want to say we were 30% 30 per, 30 lower. What's been interesting is that people are like, gosh, you can barely even, you don't even see it up there and it works great. I feel like even the aesthetics of it, I've, thought, I've been happy with. Next, things get controversial on set. What is that? We came up with a word, a word, win awesome. <laughs> It was a fairly competitive show. All the various events, there was a pretty strong sense of that spirit of competition. <laughs> Everybody was to going out to win. We came up with the word collaboration. Oh, that's right. Because we did work together. What the hell and is collaboration? We, we didn't have time to make <laughs> words. We were too busy <laughs> winning. Like, what is that? We came up with a word, a word, win awesome. <laughs> win a titian. Win a titian. Win a titian. <laughs> Although the challenge of competition was an important element through the three months, it wasn't the most important part. Obviously, you know, the goal for us was to learn um, in inexpensive, cheap, and free ways to make our home and our lives more you know, energy efficient and less wasteful. I feel like it was completely worth our time and effort to be a part of it. Overall, just being aware of how much energy we're using and, and uh, how really how little it takes to make a big difference. We really learned an absolute ton of stuff that we wouldn't have had the opportunity to learn otherwise, especially in kind of a crash course. It's been a wild ride for both teams. However, sustainability is not a destination, but a journey. Are you ready to take that first step? <laughs>